Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test. This is Season 2 of K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Jules Bia. And I'm Gabby Concepcion, the attorney, not the artista. And this is K-Check and another exciting season of teaching and learning. And another search for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Kayanin kaya nila ang ating brain workout for the season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition para malaman kung sino ang tatangaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Carla is currently studying Library and Information Science in UP Diliman. She loves dogs and hopes to donate to and volunteer for animal welfare in the future. During her free time, she watches TV shows, movies, teleseries, and K-dramas. Manel is a cross registered student from UP Mindanao, currently taking GE subjects in UP Diliman and in hopes of transferring to the campus. She likes rom-com and she's also very active on Twitter and Instagram. Meanwhile, Gwen is a student of UP Diliman from the College of Social Sciences and Philosophy. Lastly, Sari is a student of UP Diliman. If she's not doodling on paper scraps or poring over fictional books, then she's probably listening to Taylor Swift. Another Swifty on the show. <laughs> so these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Mitzi Reyes is with us for the first time. She's the former Dean of the College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. Making a comeback, Professor Ricky Nellias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And also new on the show, Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, we're ready with the questions na kailangan yung sagutin. Kaya naman, get ready to buzz in, but remember to wait for us to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. This is round one. Question number one. What Japanese city hosted what was supposed to be the 2020 Summer Olympics in 2021. Sari? Tokyo. Tokyo is the correct answer. K-Chen. Kung medyo naguluhan tayo, if this was because the COVID pandemic caused the delay in the holding of the 2020 Summer Olympics. Question number two. Money is the biggest solo hit for 2021 of which member of Blackpink? Manel. Lisa Manoban. Pati ang family name, complete. <laughs> La Lisa. The answer is correct. K-check. Question number three. What is the natural satellite that revolves around the Earth? Sari? Moon. The moon is the correct answer. K-check. Question number four. In basketball, what is the home city of the NBA team nicknamed the Bulls? Carla. Um, Chicago. Chicago is correct. K-check. Question number five. In what continent can you find Venezuela? Sari? South America. South America is the correct answer, K. Check. Question number six. In mental math, the scorch of many of our contestants, what number is one fourth of 32? Carla? Eight. Eight is the correct answer. <laughs> okay, check. Question number seven. How many colors are there in a rainbow? Manel. Seven. Seven is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight. Which of the three branches of government consists of the president, 
his advisors, and various departments and agencies. Sari. The executive branch. The executive branch is the correct answer. A check. Question number nine. In what sport did Nonito Donaire, Jerry Peñalosa, Yes, Gwen. Boxing. In what sport did Donito Donaire, Jerry Peñalosa, and Brian Viloria become world champions? The correct answer is boxing. K check. Question number 10. In elementary biology, what do you call an organism that lives on a host, gets its food at the expense of its host, like a flea on a dog? Gwen. Parasite. Parasite is the correct answer. Check. Question number 11. In the movies this time, in the movies must be love, she's dating the gangster, and the house of us, which actor starred opposite Catherine Bernardo? Manel. Daniel Padilla. Daniel Padilla. Daniel Padilla. K check. Last question for this round. Question number 12. Standing with its head up, up to 18 feet above the African savanna, what is the tallest land mammal? Sari? Giraffe. Giraffe is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. Alright, thank you so much, Atty. Gabi, grabe yung round yun, especially isang question. Na. Medyo maraming, ano, hindi pa nakaka-move on dun sa pangyayaring yun. But of course... Oh, alam mo naman, yes. ang current events natin, uh, international, national entertainment, lahat-lahat. Super updated sa so, pop culture. So, move on na tayong lahat. Speaking of moving on, ngayon ay titingnan natin kung sino ang leading si Sari na may 50 points, followed by Manel with 30 points, at tied naman with 20 points si na Carla and Gwen. Mm, and naman, let's also welcome the newest additions to our panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Mitzi and Professor Lu. Ano po bang expectations ninyo para sa mga contestants natin sa K-Check? Good morning. Um, of course, I am so excited about this. For me, it's I think it's a learning experience. And thank you for inviting me. Of course. Okay. Of course, K-Check lang tayo. <laughs> thank you. Thank you rin po. Uh, relax lang and enjoy the experience. Siyempre, welcome back din natin ang isang returning expert, Prof. Ricky. Kamusta na? Uh, wala ko expectation. Mag-enjoy lang kayo. Short and sweet ang mga answer, ha? Yes. Okay. Up next, more teaching, more learning, and more questions for our contestants here on K-Check! everyone, Contestant Gwen, medyo nabiti naman kami ng information tungkol sa'yo. At the very least, willing ka ba naman sabihin sa amin, anong course ang tinatake mo sa CSSP? I'm currently taking up BA in Political Science. Ay, Polsay. Polsay, parang. Sa, tingnan natin kung may mga sasaktong tanong sa Polsay mamaya. Ito naman, si Carla ay kumukuha ng library science course. Ano namang library sa buong mundo ang dream mong puntahan? Uh, siguro po yung New York Public Library po. Super nice. Lalo yes. na sa steps. Steps uh, lang pala yung tao dyan. <laughs> May entrance fee ba dun? <laughs> Wala naman. <laughs> Ito naman si Sari, na fellow Swifty ni co-host Jules. Yes. Bakit mo nakahiligan ng magdudo? Hindi pala connected. <laughs> Masabi lang natin. Um, for me, it's more of a creative outlet. So whenever I'm stressed, it helps take my mind off things. It's always good to have an outlet. That's right. Ito naman si Manel. Kung talagang active ka sa ex na dating Twitter, ano ang iti-tweet mo o ipopost mo sa ex na patungkol sa K-Check? 150 characters lang. <laughs> Ibilangin ko. So K-Check is... Um, a mind exercise for me, and it's both a privilege and a challenge to oh. be here. Amen! Anong hashtag? Hashtag K-Check! 
Oh, may diba? eme talaga daw. <laughs> Miss you, pang Miss Universe yes. ang sagot. So, thank you everyone to our contestants na mukhang medyo kabado pa. Relax, this is fun. So, thank you and now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in but make sure you strategize for this round. Correct answers are worth 20 points each but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Welcome to round two. Let's begin. Question number one. Also known as energy at rest, what term describes the energy possessed by a body as a result of its position or condition rather than its motion? Sorry. Potential energy. Potential energy is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. What 1993 film featured dinosaurs coming to life in the modern world and spawned a series of films including the 2018 movie Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Sorry. Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What European country, famous in history for exploration and its royalty, is the world's largest producer of olive oil? Sorry. Spain? Spain is correct. Kate check. Question number four. Standing about 8,850 meters above the China-Nepal border, what is the highest mountain in the world? Gwen. Mount Everest. Mount Everest is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. In native foods, what popular soup dish composed of pork lamang loob, crushed chicharron, chicken stock, beef and noodles traces its roots to La Paz, Iloilo City? Gwen. Bat choy. Bat choy is correct. Okay, check. Gutom kayo, no? <laughs> Question number six. The Nikkei 225 stock average is the leading and the most respected index of stocks in what country? The correct answer is Japan. Question number seven. The largest animal in the world may reach 30 meters in length and may weigh 200 tons. What is this enormous sea creature? Gwen. Blue whale. Blue whale is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Most of the ancient region of Mesopotamia can now be found in the modern-day country. Gwen. Egypt. Egypt is Malik. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Iraq. Question number nine. In what Olympic sport may one enter competitions using swords like epee, foil, or saber? Sorry. Fencing. Fencing is correct. Paycheck. Question number 10. According to Guinness World Records, the most watched sport once garnered 30 billion views within one month. What is this most popular sport in the world? Manel. Basketball. Basketball is Malay. Sorry. Football. Football is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. What four-letter title did Francis assume after the resignation of Benedict XVI? Manel. Pope. Pope is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round, number 12. Which boy band's two highest charting hit songs are Quit Playing Games With My Heart and I Want It That Way? 
Manel? Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys is correct. Okay, check. Siyempre, hindi pa kayo pinapanganap during that time. Hindi pa. Okay. Alright. So, that's it for second round. And after that round, we have Sari leading at 150 points. For a while, we thought Gwen was going to tie yeah. with Sari, but she's in second place with 70 points. Third place is Manel with 60, and Carla with 20 points. Up next, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa... Okay, check! Alright, recap po na tayo sa ating points. Nangunguna si Sari with 150 points, followed by Gwen with 70 points, Manel with 60 points, and Carla with 20 points. In the lead man si Sari ngayon, may chance pa rin lahat makahabol dahil ang susunod na po ay ang ultimate pagalingan round. At dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. And this is your last chance para humabol, mga contestants. Kaya yeah, good luck sa inyong lahat. Let's begin. Let's begin our first question from Prof. Mitzi. Okay, so yung unang tanong ay, What is the title of the 1963 Caldecott Award winner children's picture book written and illustrated by Maurice Senda? That was made into a live-action feature film in 2009. A. The Secret Garden B. The Never-Ending Story C. Where the Wild Things Are D. Fantastic Planet and E. Little Red Riding Hood Ang sagot ay where the wild things are. Thank you, Prof. Mitzi. Next, Prof. Ricky. Pagaling naman sa science. Which type of rock is characterized by its foliated structure, often forming as a result of heat and pressure? A. Basalt B. Granite C. Slate D. Sandstone and E. Limestone. It is a foliated metamorphic rock formed from the alteration of shale or mudstone under heat and pressure. The correct answer is slate. Thank you. Up next, Prof. Lu. Okay, question number one for our contestants. Which European country colonized Indonesia for over 300 years before its independence? Letter A, Portugal. Letter B, Spain. Letter C, Britain. Letter D, the Netherlands. Letter E, France. The correct answer is D, the Netherlands. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Mitzi. Okay, the question is, what is the oldest arts and design education institute in the Philippines? Or institution in the Philippines? A, University of Santo Tomas. B, University of San Carlos. C, University of the Philippines. D, Far Eastern University, E, University of the East. Manel? University of Santo Tomas. Wrong. We can still give a chance for someone else to steal. Uh, it has produced 11 national artists such as Amor Solo, Larry Alcala, Ben Kapp. 
So the answer is University of the Philippines. From chemistry and physics, science again. In chemical reactions, what law states that matter cannot be created or destroyed, only rearranged? A. Law of conservation of energy. B. Law of conservation of mass. C. Avogadro's law. D. Boyle's law. And E. Charles' law. Gwen. A. Mali. Everybody for a steal? This law states that the total mass of the reactants is equal to the total mass of the products in a chemical reaction. The correct answer is law of conservation of mass. Thank you. Drop blue. Question number two. As of 2019, what is the smallest region in the Philippines according to population? Letter A, car. Letter B, Barm, letter C, Eastern Visayas, letter D, Northern Mindanao, and letter E, Mimaropa. Gwen. B, Barm. That's incorrect. Anybody for a steal? The correct answer is A, car. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, the question is What is the name of the popular painting of national artist Benedicto Cabrera, which was inspired by a real life scavenger roaming the streets of Tondo swathed in plastic? A. Gabriela, B. Marang, C. Nena, D. Isabel E. Anna Manel D. Isabel Correct She was widely regarded as Ben Cobb's muse and was a major subject that recurs in Ben Cobb's work through the decades Okay, check Thank you Drop Vicky What is the term? For the phenomenon in which warm oceanic surface currents collide with cold, nutrient-rich currents promoting marine productivity. A. Upwelling B. El Nino C. Thermohaline circulation D. Gulf Stream and E. La Nina The correct answer is upwelling. This is the process where nutrient-rich deep water rises to the surface, enhancing marine productivity in the affected areas. Thank you. Question number three naman tayo sa world history. How many actual years were the Hundred Years' War fought between the English and the French? Letter A, 98. Letter B, 102. Letter C, 111. Letter D, 116. Letter E, 122. The correct answer is D, 116. Thank you. Now we move on to the last set of questions for this round. What was the title of the Pixar animation about a fish who is overly cautious of his son who has a foreshortened fin? A. Marlin B. Clownfish C. Finding Dory D. Finding Nemo E. Cars Sorry. Finding Nemo. Correct. In 2004, the Annie Award and the Visual Effects Society 
nominated the Filipina animator of Pixar, Ginny Cruz Santos, for her lifelike animation of this movie. So biology naman tayo. Inside the cells of living organisms, which organelle is responsible for producing energy in the form of ATP? A. Nucleus B. Mitochondria C. Endoplastic reticulum D. Golgi apparatus and E. Plasma membrane Ang tamang sagot, mitochondria. Glycolysis occurs producing energy in the form of ATP in the mitochondria. Last question from Kofu. Okay, question number four. Founded in 1851, this is the first bank in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia. Letter A, Philippine National Bank. Letter B, Bank of the Philippine Islands. Letter C, Banco Filipino. Letter D, Development Bank of the Philippines. And letter E, Land Bank of the Philippines. The correct answer is letter B, Bank of the Philippine Islands. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Sari, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 180 points. We'll see her again on Friday when they compete with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thank you, of course, to Carla, Manel, and Gwen for joining. And of course, to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Mitzi, Professor Ricky, and Professor Liu. This is Gabby Concepcion. And I am Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! Hey,